Hola amigos y amigas. Um, we are on another Airbnb tour and this is on Calle or Street Reforma. Reforma. I forget what number it is, but um, this is actually where we'll have to send you, we'll put the photo in here, but there's a photo of us standing outside this place because there's a huge Buddha on the wall, graffiti art. And who knew that it was a uh, cool little Airbnb spot. But if you search on Airbnbs and you zoom in on Reforma, this is like Chipotle a couple of blocks that way. Or we'll put the you're like a link. Half mile from everything right here. We'll put the link in it, but it's a um, location. this is uh, cheaper. Sure, one night after everything was twenty six dollars. This is cheaper than the other place that we just stayed at, which was horrible. Um, and yeah, like the streets right there, where that place was amazing to get in and out. Of. So you know, you just have to kind of read here, your. You have to read your. Um, Airbnb reviews. That's most important. But I would say that the check-in time on this was three o'clock, but they let us check in early. What time is it it's now? Like one to three on the. What time is it now? I don't know, like it's, one it's like one o'clock. They let us check in early, which was really nice. Um, they gave us all the information through WhatsApp, and as a result, we are here by ourselves. I think maybe somebody might be E and E. But I can show you what the rooms look like before everybody gets here. This is room. Hey, look at these cool chairs. Oh, actually, this is room B. So, they gave you a, like a little table that could be an iron board. And they've got some nice local art photography on the wall. That's room B. Let's take a look at room A. Room A has two double beds. All of these rent for about less than 30 US American dollars a night after the cleaning fee on Airbnb. We set our parameters to be less than $25, sometimes $26 at the max a night after cleaning fee. Sometimes it can be 29, but never over 30 so all of our airbnbs are going to be on the cheaper end um we are in room c let's take a look at it it's lots of wide open spaces i haven't seen any smell any signs of mold is that real i don't think that's real brick i think it's just um uh, i don't know it looks cool though. But yeah, this is our room. They did give us a fan. We asked, did they have a fan? A fan is a mandatory for me. I have to have a fan. None of these places have air conditioning, so I must have a fan. This has an open terrace. You can see the sky over there. So that's cool. This is E, it seems to be occupado. And this is D. Room D also has two double beds. I love the two double bed thing because um, it's hot over here and sleeping with somebody all up in your space is even hotter. I love that they pay, putting local photos up. The other place we were at, if they had just invested a little bit of money into it, they could have really done something like this to it. But I guess they were taking all the money and, I don't know, buying outfits with it. Um, so here, huh? Okay. The mattresses are bored. What? No, they're, they're comfortable. They're comfortable? Wow, we're getting lucky on the mattresses. Okay, so here is the female bathroom, which I think is great that they have them separated because, um, in a living space with multiple tenants, multiple renters, Women need to have their own space. Guys are gross. I don't want them in my bath, bath space. They've got you extra towels, extra blankets, pretty much everything you need here. What I really like about this space is it's thoughtfully designed. Over here, you can just put some plants up and your stuff 
It'll make it look so much nicer. People love their plants over here. I love plants. People love plants everywhere, so why not? All right, we're going up. This is a lot of stairs, but we didn't have to go up to the stairs. They are kind of steep. Woo, it's warm up here. You don't want to be up in this way, up on the top. Um, okay. There's a lot of textbooks I've seen around. If you're interested in learning about how to speak Spanish or geography of Mexico, they got you covered here. And this is just the Teresa. Oh, how'd you get up here? There's another steps. What are these? Are these rooms? These are the capsules. No, these are showers. What a nice shower compared to where we just came from. Oh yeah, I bet they have hot water too. Ooh, nice. Okay, that's your shot. So now that we have been here a week, we just continued our stay several times. It ended up being about $19 a night and we were able to book with the Airbnb owner directly through WhatsApp and didn't have to pay fees. $19 a night was absolutely a steal for this place. There were only a few people here the whole time we were here, so we pretty much had it to ourselves. All right, so the view I'm giving you right now is from atop the Teresa. The buildings outside are very cool, and I will show them to you. Um, so this is the top of the Teresa. This is basically another floor. They have these awesome cacti over here. And plants, which really seem to need some love. Um, if you stay here, water these plants. If you're watching this video, what happens at night is these self-watering things, which aren't on long enough, just spray out into the into the brick. They aren't spraying these plants. It's a good idea though. Somebody that needs to take care of these plants better because they are beautiful. So here we are on top of the Teresa. They've got a lot of these cool local made chairs here. They've got um, a table. This is kind of your dining area. They ask that you eat upstairs. They've got um, this wash sink for you to wash things. And then in here they have a real kitchen. And they even have filtered water right here that is filtered. We look down there, there's a heavy duty filter on it. So, and it definitely smells way different than that. I've drank it several times. So, they've got everything you need here, dishes. Here's my food sitting out. This is my lasagna from the X-Factorio last night. Got a full refrigerator. We are currently in a blackout right now, so I'm not gonna open the refrigerator. Um, Guadalajara and all of Mexico does occasionally have some blackouts, power outages. And if you're here doing one, well, it just happens. They have everything you need in here. Let's take a look at the showers. These are the bath areas according to whichever room you are in. This is the bath area and that's why they're labeled, but we were the only ones here, so we just used whatever one we want. This says that Guadalajara gets their water from Lake Chapala. And so they only give you 10 minutes of hot water, which is great. 10 minutes of hot water is absolutely enough. Um, because a lot of places around here do not give you any water. Hot water. They give you water, not hot water. They actually don't give you water because you have to buy your water. Okay, so yep, yeah, here's the other bathrooms. They all look the same. They're all, this place is so thoughtful. Um, she has soap, but you probably need to bring your own shampoo and conditioner. 
She's got a little stool for you, bath mat. They have these hanging places to put your clothes. And then down, I feel like somebody's yelling. Downstairs, is it Drew, maybe? I don't know. Here, you can see the downstairs. Let's go see. We're gonna go down there anyway, so let's go check it out. One, two, three rooms. It turns out it was true. Okay, so here is the beautiful yoga room. And when I mean beautiful, I mean it's thoughtful. They try. Some of these plants are dying, like I said. So so I'm saying about these plants. These plants have troubled me. Um, there's a lot of textbooks around in Spanish, Spanish to English, Spanish facts about the world, things like that. Everything's in Spanish, so, you know, that's cool. And they have a little library here and some yoga mats. This is at the top of the stairs. Let's go down. These stairs are treacherous and you must navigate them to get to your food and your shower and pretty much everything so if you don't like stairs this might not be the place for you we are fine with these stairs I always think about a Mexican abuela grandma having to go up these steps because these are what the steps look like in these stone houses like this so basically this was once just a garage I'm doing a video we will, um, we were the only ones, well, E is currently occupado, and A is currently occupado. The whole time we were here, no one stayed in B, which is B right here. And so we were able to use their fan. We use two fans. This is actually an air conditioning fan, so that was really helpful. It blows out cold air. Um, so yeah, this is our room. It's not quite finished being cleaned yet, but working on it. I had this cool thing on the wall. And they had a washer and dryer. I will show you the bathroom because I don't know if I showed it the first time around. We love this place, like I said. Yep, stayed here for over a week, washer and dryer. Um, and we'll put the listing information around here somewhere. Here's the bathrooms. Um, be warned that it's a Monday and the clean person doesn't come on Sunday. So, you know, the place could be tidy, a little more tidy, but they had everything you need. They even said they had a bug net, I guess, Drew said. Um, towels. And do you have anything to say about it? I think that's it. We loved it. We um, con kept continuing our Airbnb reservation. That was helpful. Anything? Oh, let's go show them the outside. Can you open it up for me? You got in with a key and a key and a passcode. You have to have the key to get out of the like that. Uh-huh. What are you going to get to the fire? Jump off that Teresa. What street are we on? Reforma. What's the address? 898 Reforma. We know because we had a lot of stuff delivered here. Because the DD game is tight over here. All right, here's the building. You got to close it up. I hope you have the key. got all this cool decorations on it. You can tell your Didi or Uber driver, it's the one with the big Buddha guy on it. Whether or not this is a Buddha or not, There's who knows. There's so much artwork everywhere. Yeah, but some people are like, oh, I've seen that building. This one's in our photo album. 
This is Juan M. Cupliando. And then, as you can see right there, this is Reforma. Right on the corner. Right on the corner. So the location was great. How far are we from X Factorio? Uh, Actually, it tells you right here that the, there's... To the church, it's nine blocks. Two blocks to the Mercado for Centario, which is great. Go one block north. Must Five. go there. We have a video of that. And then nine blocks to Templo X Factorio. Yeah. So, not far at all. Excellent walking location. I hate to leave, but, you know, I think here's our cleaning person. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. We really appreciate it. Really quickly, here's the actual Airbnb listing, so you can book it yourself. You can go down into the description where I have actually put the listing that you can click on. This was probably one of the best places we stayed at. There are some um, weird reviews talking about the people outside. It is close to uh, like a Mercado, a city center, so there are some homeless people, but they're very nice. I, I wouldn't worry about it. There is a small garage space, as you can see. Some people do bring their car in there, so that's helpful. If you are walking like us, the location was great. We we're just a few blocks down from the pharmacy, a few blocks down from the market where you can get all your food, and a couple blocks from the Expectorio. So um, I don't have anything bad to say about it. It was $19 a night. It was absolutely great for our needs, and the beds were actually comfy, so um, it actually got cool in there at night. Yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button if you want us to do more Airbnb reviews in Mexico.